this is your first time. I mapped it. You're three miles away from your childhood home, from right uh, where we stand. Uh, and well, and even better, I when I went out to East Bay Mud, yeah. it's same exit off of 580. Did you go by your house? I didn't because I had to get here. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I looked over and I knew it was there and yeah. It's, I'm home. That's incredible. I'm home. You've come full circle. I know you've been asked this many times, but is it, is it hit you now, your new life? Not even your new job, your new life? You know, I'm so task-oriented. So it's literally, I don't, it's, okay, um, we got to get checks to people who have been unemployed for so long. We need to take care of, you know, all of these children who are hungry and their parents are in food lines for hours. We've got to lift half of... America's children out of poverty. Like that's, that's where my head is. Yeah. I can't even call you Kamala anymore, Madam Vice President. <laughs> <Indeed>. <laughs> um, you've always had this pressure and now there's, um, I don't know if it's a pressure or a great challenge ahead of you, but there, there's so many people thinking, okay, even in 2024, this could be yours. Do you embrace that possibility, even those conversations? Not a, honestly, not at all. Not at all. You know what I'm looking at right now? I'm looking at the fact that again, we need to make sure that all those folks who are in those food lines, that we get them back to work, that we give them assistance, that we help them get through the month and not end up being homeless or, or, or evicted. That's where my head is. People are suffering in our country right now. I, I, and I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I feel a great sense of optimism. But the optimism that I feel is absolutely coupled with a sense of purpose to act to achieve right the things that make us optimistic because if we don't work at it no reason to be optimistic we have to work at it a few months in what have you learned where do you need to get better because this is this is a, this is a butt kick in this job well no it's um listen it's there is no lack of work to be done right so we did the american rescue plan fourteen hundred dollar checks lifting half of america's children out of poverty doing the kind of work that just is about getting people through this pandemic and this moment of crisis. Now we've got the American Jobs Plan. And that's, as, and I'm really excited about that because that's about an investment in our country. It's about infrastructure, roads and bridges, of which we got plenty yeah. here in the Bay Area and in California. But it's also about human infrastructure, our caregiving economy, because by the way, all the jobs we're gonna create in terms of an investment in infrastructure, all those jobs, well, folks got Kids that need daycare or childcare. They've got parents that need care and support. So then there's the caregiving economy, which I call the human infrastructure piece of an approach that is about increasing the number of jobs and getting people back to work. Most of us, me included, I think of infrastructure, bridges, mm -hmm. roads, water pipes. How do you sell this now? Not just to the American people, but to Congress. How do you sell $2 trillion with tax hikes and it's gonna be this thing called human infrastructure, green technology. Let's talk about water. So as a daughter of California, right? We all know, we've experienced, we've lived through drought. We know the significance of water as a precious commodity, something we cannot take for granted. Anyone anywhere knows the importance of clean drinking water. We know the importance of the need to collect water in terms of capturing rainwater storage of water right yeah. that's all about jobs what we need to do to create the infrastructure around water clean water drinking water lead pipes we've still got communities all over the country with just filled with lead pipes you know in terms of there, there's too many because there shouldn't be any because that's about lead which is toxic can impacting you, our children. Can you sell this, maybe not to Republicans, can you even sell it to all the Democrats in terms of in, in Congress, your I, former Listen, colleagues? I think that when we're talking about infrastructure, you couldn't get to a more nonpartisan issue. Regardless of who you voted for in the last election, to get to work, you probably need to drive over those roads and bridges. You know how much four tires cost? And yes. why do you need tires? because you're driving over those potholes and, and faulty roads and bridges, right? And each household, regardless of who they pay, whoever they voted for, you know that it's really expensive to have to deal with a flat tire. So let's think about just what this means to everyday life for real people. It's about improving the quality of their life. 
It's about seeing them in terms of the full extent in, in which we all live. So it's about delivering jobs. It's about making life easier in terms of upgrading roads and bridges, about clean water, yeah. about the caregiving economy, about broadband. Even here in California, we have communities that don't have access to affordable broadband. That's what it's about. And, and, and here's the thing. We have an opportunity to leapfrog over all of those things that we've been suffering under because of the pandemic, which really just enlarged and accelerated the problems. We can leapfrog by investing in our country, investing in our workforce in a way that will improve the quality of life for everyone and allow us to compete in a global world. It's very exciting. As we wrap it up, it is, what's something surprising that you didn't know about this new life of yours that we don't know in the public, behind the scenes, personally um, or professionally? I, you know, it's long good days. That's what it is, it really is. And Joe Biden's a really cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> and this doesn't happen, by the way. At, at, he really at, is. At, He's, I love working with him. And this doesn't happen. An Indian journalist interviewing an Indian <laughs> vice president. Something's going on. It's different nowadays. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs>